Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another free Sage tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Disputes feature on the Customer module. It also appears here on the Supply module. We'll go through both, but they work pretty much the same. So if you have Sage 50 Cloud, Sage 50 accounts, Sage Instant accounts, this feature may be available to you. The process is the same no matter which software package you have and I'll go through the feature in full in this video. So on the customer module you may have a customer that disagrees with an invoice entirely or has contacted you about a certain item on an invoice. It could be that the item received or the service received was not adequate, it could be it was faulty, it could be there is a dispute over the price about the invoice price it could be a hundred different things there's a hundred reasons why uh, an invoice or item could be under dispute it doesn't really matter sage will tailor for that and you can even add your own reasons um, for items that are under disputes but we'll come to that in a moment the first thing you need to know is if an item or an invoice is marked as paid, then the dispute feature is not going to work. The invoice has to be outstanding. So with ABS garages here, we have two invoices. This invoice, number 35, this is paid in full. It's not outstanding, here's the outstanding column. So we can't use that invoice for the dispute feature. feature. And that's the same with the supply module. The invoice has to be outstanding. So this invoice here, is outstanding invoice number 58 if I click on the dispute feature disputes it brings up this customer because it's highlighted if you don't have any customers highlighted then when you click on disputes you'll have to search for the customers ABS garages you can see there's lots of lines here because this is all one invoice but the invoice had lots of items on the invoice so it's all invoice number 58 and this is one of the good things about this feature is the dispute doesn't necessarily have to go against the whole invoice though that may be the scenario that you're in and if it is then you would dispute the whole invoice by disputing each line here but if it's just an item on an invoice this feature is very good because you can select the item let's say it's a 17 inch monitor you highlight it click dispute put the reason down for the dispute let's say they they're saying it was the wrong goods received number three click OK that item is now on the dispute list so every other invoice can be allocated against the payment while this price here 130 38 this total here for the 17 inch monitor will be marked as under dispute. Hopefully this is making sense. Once there's been some sort of resolution, this amount can then be credited or you can mark it as no longer under dispute by clicking the flag again, ensuring that the right line is highlighted. You can then see it's no longer marked as under dispute. Hopefully this is making sense. Let's go through the supplier side. It's identical. So if we click on suppliers, we need a supplier with an outstanding invoice. Okay, there's a few on this one. So this is concept stationary supplies. If we click on disputes, it brings up not just all the invoices, but all the items on those invoices. So invoice 17 is here. Invoice 18 has five lines. Invoice 25 has three items. Look. Invoice 33 has lots of items. So let's just say it's this item here. This invoice, invoice number 17, ball, ball point pen blue. Let's say we received black instead of blue. We can click dispute. Obviously we contact the supplier as well and let them know. Wrong goods received. There is a list here of seven by default seven reasons and i'll show you how to add more reasons in a moment so let's say wrong goods received click ok 
that item and invoice is now under dispute. So let's save that. If we look at the account, it will take a moment to load. Sage does take a while to load after saving a dispute. We can see here for invoice 17, we have the amount with a D next to it. The D is the abbreviation for dispute. Okay, so how do we add more reasons or how do we edit the reasons of a dispute? We go up to settings at the top here, the top ribbon, click configuration. And then if we scroll across here, we have dispute reasons and we have our list of reasons. I believe there's 999, yeah, a thousand reasons to add. I don't think you'll need that many, but let's say we want to add number eight as a reason. We just highlight number eight, click edit and enter the name. So this could be dispute for um, no VAT invoice, something like that. Click OK. And there we go. So when you dispute items, it could also be that you require documentation. You know, you could edit number nine, say documentation needed. So it can be a way to also organize the accounts and organize paperwork. It's not just about the goods being faulty or the invoice being the wrong price. You can be creative. You can add as many reasons as you like. It could also be that you use disputes for authorization. So until an item or an invoice is authorized for payment, it's under dispute. And then once it's authorized, you can take the dispute off and pay it. Just an idea. Okay, hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, use the comments section below and I will try my best to get back to you. Feel free to email me, info at bpfs-online.com. My email is on my website. Check out all my free videos on my YouTube channel.